problem mo ba? Kasi si Anding eh, yung kakaalis lang. Hmm. May utang kasi ako sa kanya eh. Utang? Anding is my classmate. He rents out books. I owe him 26 pesos from the books that I borrowed from him. 26 pesos? Why does it cost so much? You read that many books? Marami nga, pero hindi ko na makakalain ganun kamalin eh. Are you sure that's the right amount? Ah, let me see the list. Anding didn't give me a list. Why? He just passed by to tell me how much I owe him. Uh, when will he come back? He'll be back on Sunday. I can check his list then. However, I still need to find a way to pay him. If I really owe him 26 pesos, eh, 25 centimos lang ang pera ko eh. All I can give you is 50 centavos. So, that's just 75 centavos. How did you do that? Ah, I just added the decimals. It's simple. Look. First, we arrange the addends 25 centavos and 50 centavos in a column by lining up the decimals. Then, we add as whole numbers starting from the right. So, 5 plus 0 equals 5. Right. Okay. 2 plus 5 equals 7. 7. And then, we put the decimal point of the sum directly below the decimal points of the addends. So you see, the sum is 75 centavos. And that's all the money I have now. Don't worry, Bubut. We'll have to find a way to raise the money so you can pay Andine. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tinay, but it's not your problem. Bubut, we're friends. Friends help each other. Thank you.